Greetings, friends. And welcome back to Wind Waker HD. Yeah, in between episodes, I did that um, that reef, this one right yeah, here. Yeah, and we just came back and marked the square that we forgot. That one, yeah. Um, so, let me... Oops. <laughs> I'm trying to go over here real quick. Is That's the Triforce chart. Where's the incredible chart? Get this. Okay, so we got that. Got one of the charts. Okay. The one that's uh, two to the right of us, I think, is that Headstone Island that has okay. that, that enemy gauntlet. Gotcha, and it checks these off for us. Mm -hmm. Cool. Let me see. This away. <clears throat> you said it was two to the east? Yeah. Cool. Yeah, it's just another one of those big head-shaped rocks, and then there's a little enemy gauntlet down there. Mm -hmm. Pretty simple. Cool. Mm -hmm. And here's that platform that tricked me. Mm -hmm. The one where you thought there were like five cannons or whatever. Yeah, I think it's like eight cannons or something crazy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if we spot that one, we can go for it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Alrighty. Um, this one? Yeah, I think it is. Okay. Mr. Merman. Stone Watcher Isle. Yeah. Oh, yeah, did we already mark it? Yeah. <clears throat> we just have to get someone, like, all the way to the east and, um, all the way north. Mm -hmm. And I think there's a few at the south border, too. Yeah, one of those islands down there is really weird looking. Mm hmm. Um. Yeah. Hey, it's a big old head. <laughs> Goodbye. Oh yeah, and can't you like break those with a hammer? Yeah, and they'll have like a bunch of rupees inside. Okay, so that's where I came from. I'm trying to go through the locked door, and I gotta. Yeah, I remember this one. You beat all the enemies inside, and then a candle lights above the door. Mm -hmm. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> go <laughs> bunch of moblins yeah, and i can't remember but some dark nuts might show up in that first room yeah i'm pretty sure they do give me that money yeah, and there's a couple mini games that are gonna cost us a decent amount of money too, because we're probably gonna have to play them multiple times. Mm -hmm. Um, like that cannon shooting one. Yeah, that one's not as annoying as the uh, battleship one though. Yeah, no, <laughs> we got really lucky with the battleship one. I think I played it like two or three times off camera, and then I got like all three ships and broke the record um, after like two or three tries, which never happens normally. It's like at least ten tries for me. Mm -hmm. Pressing, yeah. Switch. Can I switch the arrow? Thank you. <laughs> it, like, wasn't letting me switch for some reason. I think if you're holding the button to pull an arrow back, you like can't switch. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know why. It was really weird. Alrighty. What's next? What are those weird things on top of the pillars even supposed to be? These? Yeah, it looks like, uh... It looks like those little statues that we helped oh, yeah. out. Yeah, from the God Temple. Mm -hmm. Maybe that's just to indicate that the Triforce is near. Mm -hmm. 
remember this. Guys! I want to do my cool move that I paid freaking 10 Knights Crest for. <laughs> How many of those do we have? 35. Okay, cool. We're getting pretty close. And then we can give 40 to Miss Marie, and I don't remember what she's going to give us. Mm -hmm. Oh, and we can finish the Savage Labyrinth at some time, too. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that could be one where we started off screen because we did the first 25 mm -hmm. floors already. Or 30 or however many. Mm -hmm. And then we can just get to that one and finish the mm -hmm. camera at the start of an episode. Mm -hmm. ah! mm -hmm. Come on, guys, screw off. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. It looks crazy. Isn't there a third one? I guess oh, okay. so. <laughs> I thought there were three. Oh well. Boom. You can use their swords to break those pillars too. Oh yeah, and get the money. Mm -hmm. Can't you use your hammer also? Yeah. It'd be cool if you could just knock them over like dominoes. All right. That went out a lot. Mm -hmm. Boom. What? <laughs> I guess I got her by the falling pillar. <laughs> Just rising up out of the ground, I guess. So. <laughs> and then I think the next room will have a couple jars with a bunch of rupees, too. Yeah, I think you're right. I remember this one. Mm hmm. Boom. All of that. And a piece of the Triforce. Soon I will be the hero. <laughs> I have always been destined to be. It'd be cool if the Triforce pieces actually did something. Right. Because it seems like the one that Ganondorf gets actually makes him stronger, but then like... This one makes us braver! <laughs> even though we've been brave this whole time. <laughs> I have the courage now. <laughs> well, then, it like makes the light sword, or not the light sword, it makes the master sword glow, right? And then we can like destroy that electricity or something. Well, I think the master sword's power got unlocked from the temples. Oh yeah. Yeah. Hmm. And then like Zelda's already pretty smart from the get go. Like she doesn't even try for it. She doesn't even know she's Zelda. <laughs> Who am I? <laughs> you have the Triforce of Wisdom. <laughs> what? <laughs> In uh, Ocarina of Time, she's especially smart, though, I would say. Yeah. I mean, she has a friggin' plan, like, seven years in advance or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, she's pretty smart in Twilight Princess. I mean, she's pretty smart in, like, most of the games. Mm -hmm. um, Tears of the Kingdom, too. Yeah. Should I go to the cabana, or do you think I should go to that top right one? Um, because the cabana or the, 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 the private oasis this doesn't take too long, right? Nah, and then the top right one's another enemy gauntlet, just like the one we did. Gotcha. I think I'm just gonna go to the private oasis. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Bloop. And then on the incredible chart, I can't remember, it might mark the um the Triforce charts after we get them to Cypher. Because mm -hmm. it wasn't marking them before. We got the Ghost Ship one, though, and the one from Needle Rock. Yeah. And I'm going to open up the Incredible <laughs> chart just to see where the last one is. It might be at Outset. Mm -hmm. I think that's... Let me see. Oh, no. So we sunk the... Huh. Okay, so I guess we sailed right past it? Oh, wait, 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 wait. No, we haven't gone all the way to the east. Yeah. That's the one, okay. Oh, yeah, that's that friggin' uh, Bird Peak Rock one with all the like, switches. Oh, great. That's so much fun. <laughs> I hate it. <laughs> yeah, you have to control a seagull and go to, like, five different friggin' Karkarok nests mm -hmm. and hit them all. 
Yeah, I'll probably try doing that in the next one. Mm -hmm. Good luck. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, sometimes if you're lucky, you can hit them with your arrows, but mm -hmm. uh, I'm not usually that lucky. Yeah, it'd be nice if the Hawkeye from uh, Twilight Princess was in this game. Mm -hmm. I feel like there's a lot more instances in Wind Waker where sniping would be ideal. Yeah. Versus Twilight Princess where it's fun, but you only need it for like two things. Mm -hmm. I don't remember. Uh, we haven't been to this island yet, have we? I don't think so. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure if you hookshot up to those trees, there's like a treasure chest with a piece of heart in it up there. Mm. Up there? Yeah. Okay. Do you think I should do it from, like, the back side of the... The house, yeah. yeah. Oh, we still gotta do, like, the trading side quest. Yeah. Fun, fun, fun! We might, like, start that one on camera and then finish off camera or something, because it's a little annoying. Mm -hmm. Sweet! Oh, uh, it's a chart! Well, it'll probably lead to a heart, because it's in a thorny chest. Tricked me. <laughs> Freaking chest. I don't remember what episode. It was recently, though. We were talking about, and I was like, sometimes they trick you. Mm -hmm. I was like, sometimes those spiky chests have a, a chart in them. This is one of them. <laughs> you lie! <laughs> Already. Yeah, that, uh... That island that that chart was for, it looked like it was one of the ones that's all the way to the east. That might be the one we were talking about. Five star about. isles or whatever, or actually, I think that might be the Star Bell Archipelago or whatever it's called. There's too many stars. Don't touch me with those filthy hands. This cabana belongs to the master. The master alone. You grimy, trespassing little scoundrel. Away with you. Away, I say. <laughs> now we just gotta show him our deed. Um, I'm the owner. Of this here establishment. <laughs> Ew, unclean, most foul. Don't lay those grungy hands. Wait, that, that's why. That's the. Are you? Are you the new master? Are you Master Link? Ah, I'm so pleased to hear that name, Master Link. Please be gentle on this fine door. Burn it to the ground. <laughs> Yeah, and he's just like embedded in the door. It's really weird. Yeah, it is really weird. He just lives in this door. Yeah. Ugh. What a cursed existence. I think those uh, sparkly jars on the shelf will have a bunch of money in them too. Yeah. And you can use, I think, your grappling hook up in here. Mm -hmm. Sweet. And then I think you can do like these sliding puzzles. Mm hmm. Wait, do you have to talk to him? I think you have to talk to the one on the right side. This one? Yeah, the one oh, that's all gotcha. scattered. And I think there's more jars on the shelf to the right, too. Yeah, I don't want to play your game. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, I think it just gives you more money, but it's like not a lot. Mm -hmm. It's like 20 rupees or something. Oh man, I think one of the purple ones is on the shelf. <coughs> <laughs> oh well. What a lovely cabana. <laughs> and she only wanted 20 cheap ass joy pendants for it. Yeah. That's a friggin' steal. Mm hmm. For this one room plus maze like basement. <laughs> And then these rats come along trying to steal the money you just won. Right. Little scamps. Whee! Alrighty. No. <laughs> yeah, and I can't remember which way to go. If you uh, uh, press in the, the right stick, it'll give them a first person view. Um, I think it's to the right. And then straight ahead. 
And then right. Mm -hmm. Treasure. <laughs> Treasure. Oops. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> I think we might have just uh, stunned a rat or something. I could hear one squeaking when you hit the ground a second ago. Mm hmm. And now do I just go down again? Yeah. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> Wrong button. Treasure. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. <laughs> oh, Link. I feel like crawling through one of those tunnels would be hellish. Right. <laughs> it made that little plunky sound. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's giving Metal Gear Solid, and it's giving claustrophobia. Mm -hmm. Splinters. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to do freaking Metal Gear Solid music. <laughs> mm -hmm. And then there's that, like, low chanting... I don't remember what the notes are. Mm -hmm. Yeah, one of them just made like a... <laughs> I didn't know that that worked. That's cool. And then I think you just dropped down that hole there. This one? Yeah, and I think that's where the redid is. <laughs> <laughs> Got him. Mm -hmm. Sometimes those reheads will drop just like a bunch of rupees when you kill them. It's really nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think I've gotten like a couple 20s mm -hmm. from one before. All right, and then after this piece, we'll have half of the Triforce. Mm -hmm. And getting three of the pieces will be super easy because we just got to decipher the charts yeah. and then go get them. And then the last piece is, you said, an enemy gauntlet, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's kind of weird that a piece of the Triforce was just in the basement of this cabana. Right? <laughs> And that the freaking school teacher from Windfall Island just happens to be the owner. Right. Boom. Like, I've been holding on to this. <laughs> Sweet. Easy peasy. Freedom! <laughs> Freedom! <laughs> It'd be cool if the rupees respawn in those jars, but unfortunately they don't. Mm -hmm. Um, okay, let me look at the map real quick. Okay, I am going to... The last thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go up here and then sail west. We already got the piece of heart from Paw Print Isle, but we didn't get the... I think there might be a treasure chart or mm -hmm. something in there. Yeah, there's another hole you can hook shot to. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, and then I'll mark that on the map, and then next time we can, like, start going up here and then work We're our way, way down. down to down and around. Mm -hmm. yeah. Alrighty. Yep. Yeah, Paw for Niles where all them choo-choos are and mm -hmm. stuff. And it's where we got our second piece, or our fourth piece of heart, yeah. Because mm -hmm. we did one fall first. Um... Eeny, meeny, <laughs> yeah. I can't decide! <laughs> I was trying to think if one was, like, closer, because, you know, sometimes, like, the island will be, like, in one corner of, yeah. the, of the square, mm -hmm. and the other one will be closer. Mm -hmm. 
And then I remembered I want to go to Beetle. Where's the little, Beetle. little freak? Where are you at? With your... Oh! Uh, is he even on this island? He might not be. I'm what pretty sure he's fuck? on Popper now, though. What? Or maybe... I know he's on Dragon Roost for sure. What? <laughs> but he might be at Popper now, too. I could have sworn we've seen him at Windfall just sitting at the pier. Maybe not. Maybe he's only there during the thunderstorm and he sells you bombs or something. Maybe. Alright. Hello, Mr. Fish. Let me get the bait. How do you like that? <laughs> Boy, small fry. Blah, blah, blah. Blobbity, blobbity, <laughs> blah. Do you know what a choo choo is? Yes. <laughs> I'm not talking about the sound you make when kissing someone. And they're those slimy monster-like puddles of goo that turn into blobs of jelly stand up, start jumping at you like crazy when you come near them. And he's saying that you can take the jelly to the potion brewer at Windfall. Mm -hmm. Which is fine, but grandma soup is better. And uh, you can get them for free if you just take the Boko Baba seeds to the, um, the Koroks. Yeah. Oh shit, treasure! Nice. Sweet. It feels like it's so much easier to do in this version than mm -hmm. in um, GameCube. Yeah, and it's a whole lot faster too. Yeah, like unrealistically <laughs> fast, but I love it because in, in the in the original game it takes like quite a while for them to pull the treasure up and to like go down and get it. Mm -hmm. it takes like ten seconds for the hook to sink. I'm gonna feel so dumb if it's like a joy pendant up here. I can't remember what the <laughs> other treasure is. And then there's that uh, one little island behind you with the weird shaped tree on it. I think has a secret hole next to it too. Oh. I can't remember what's down there. Mm-hmm. I'll check that out in a second. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the merman doesn't show up until you leave Dragon Roost Island, because otherwise we would have gotten that merman mm -hmm. when we first came here. Yeah, there's something we can bomb up in here. Mowing the lawn was that easy in right. real life. <laughs> <laughs> There's some like grappling hook posts up on the wall too. Oh yeah. I don't know what that's. Where for. they at? Uh, like in the direction he was just facing. Oh yeah, yeah. they're there. Yeah, I remember doing this, but I don't think it's anything like amazing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it might just be like a joy pendant or something. Mm hmm. A hundred rupees. Mm hmm. What's it gonna be? Cool. <laughs> nice. And he only broke his ankles. Okay, this is the, the, the hole I was thinking about. Mm -hmm. Bombable rock. Got him. Get off the chest! <laughs> Alright. Oh, 
Was there another uh, bomb over rock down the other path? I'll or... check in just a second. Yes. Shot over to those trees. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it might be a treasure chart or something. Mm -hmm. Do you think I need to be in the boat to do it? Uh, you might have to be. Yeah, the hook shot's like really short in this game. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Alright, where are you, king? <laughs> there he is. Here we go, go, go again. <laughs> <laughs> you might be able to just hook shot straight to the weird looking one. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just seeing them lined up like that, I was thinking, oh, I have to do, you know, one, two, three. Mm hmm. I, like, vaguely remember this. Bunch of enemies. Oh, boy. Mm. Nice. Oh, nice. <laughs> Oh, what? Three! Nice. Yeah, they're really not too much of a problem when you have a wide open space like this. Yeah. And if you just uh, focus on the whiz ribs, too, because yeah. like, otherwise they'll just keep bringing in enemies. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, like, fighting them in that submarine, or in the ghost ship the last time was annoying, just because it was, like, a lot close quarters, or mm -hmm. a lot closer quarters. And there were, like, a, you know, a few enemies, like, right in my face. Mm -hmm. This is the second time in one episode they've done it. Mm -hmm. Spike chest, mm -hmm. treasure chest! Or a treasure chart. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, sorry, all I'm tired of shit. <laughs> yeah, this will be another piece of heart, though. Inside of a reef, it looks like. Yay! Oh, boy. Mm -hmm. There's like a dozen reefs in this game. Which one could it be? <laughs> <laughs> it's anyone's guess. Mm -hmm. Sweet. Back into the boat I go. And then we're gonna call it here. But thank you guys for wa oh. <laughs> thank you guys for watching it. We hope you'll join us next time. Bye. -bye. Have a good one. <laughs>